two. Two and one, two and one, let's go! One more, one more, one more, down the hallway. I broke his arm. Okay, quick video today about strategizing for quests. I see too many people trying to hard grind their quests without thinking about the easiest way to complete it. Take this Reddit thread for example. Young Timmy was having troubles doing delivery from the past and people recommended him to try it at night, and he was successful. Why? Let's break it down. The majority of quests that can be done at factory are early game and do not require it to be done during the night. Most players prefer to see, so they'll avoid night time. Most kill quests can be grinded through day factory by farming early game questers. If you want kills, there are two groups to farm. The Timmy's doing the quest, and the deathmatchers also trying to grind kills. They'll all be in daytime. Because most people with a kill objective is grinding day factory, this will also mean most people who have no objectives and enjoy the map will also be playing daytime. This leaves night factory filled with players attempting touch or drop off objectives, meaning there's a higher possibility of them being under geared. With the removal of night factory from insomnia, you won't encounter any late game juicers, which means there are lower chances of the other party wearing NVGs. If you're really afraid, you can hide in a darkness until the map is quiet, then do your objective. This works, as P-Scavs won't queue Night Factory. This is because there's no guarantee your scav will spawn with a flashlight, and Night Factory is unplayable without one. Also because there has to be an ongoing game with a PMC alive for P-Scav to load in. And there's so little Night Factory games going on, P-Scavs won't bother waiting for such a long queue. With all these factors combined, it can lead to a higher chance in completing your quest and surviving your raid. Let's move on to the other type of quest, Kill Quest. Many of these quests force you to run a certain gear set. You want to find the most advantageous way you can make use of your gear. Test Drive is a great example, and one I've been working on recently. I used to just point fire M61 at people in factory, but now that the minimum kill distance is 60 meters, you have to think about when and where this thermal M1A will have overwhelming advantage. So time to pick a map. Any map that has common long range angles works for the M1A. So woods and customs are pretty good. Shoreline is okay, but the biggest hotspot is resort, and your thermals cannot see through glass. Reserve isn't that great because most of your potential players will end up underground in the radicombs. And for the best time, well nighttime is okay, but everyone on these maps will have MVGs. And you might get caught unscoped while you're regenerating arm stamina because the M1A is so heavy and low ergo. This would be a disadvantageous fight for you because you have to turn off your MVGs to scope in with the thermal. By the time you can do that, you're probably already dead. So for customs and woods, you want to play daytime, but only when it's raining and fogging super hard. However, there's one map that guarantees overwhelming advantage and has the perfect 60 meter plus angle that most PMCs have to rotate through. Interchange. Nobody wears MVGs to interchange, because it's not needed in the mall, so there's no way you'll be spotted and caught while regenerating arm stam. But how do we guarantee players on the map? What if it's a dead raid? Well that's impossible, chumming is a massive quest gate for skier and leads to setup and silent caliber. And you have to run nighttime for this quest. Long line, which everyone at level 45 will be grinding because it unlocks the AAC PC, one of the best combo rigs in the game. These guys will be hunting the chumming guys because chumming guarantees fights inside the mall. Both are very commonly grinded so there will always be players on night interchange. Alright, so now we have map and time down. What about location? There's one place where the majority of PMCs have to go through and it's impossible to win a fight here without NVGs while you have a thermal. Emercom Extract. Just cap the extract and your quest is free. I shot the head multiple times. Cheater. Oh. From the right, from the right, from the right. I'm extracting. You're extracting? Yeah, he's, I think he's cheating, dude. Yeah, let's go. Let's What's from it. the right? Where's the right? The, the right of um, Emercom. Uh, so, rap, rap, rap. Someone's getting laid out. I'm extracting too if you guys actually yeah, guys are cheating. Yeah, get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. Where's over here? You guys are at, at the extract. Rap the extract, extract. rap the extract. He's oh, laying me out, he's laying me out. Can you shot the head too? It's an aimbot, it's an aimbot. Yeah, I see the lasers, dude. It's an aimbot. Okay, okay, what the Just fuck? Just get out, get out of camp. Good thing I'm wearing a fucking level 6 plate on the top of my head. Jeez, are you good? Uh, I will be in a second. Okay, I'm gonna block his bullets by facing the back of my head against him. What, what no, are the bullets? No, no, what are the bullets? Go, just go. BT, 5 for 5 BT. Just go, dude. I'm regening my stamina, I'm getting no, 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 no. straight to I'm extract. I'm baiting, I'm baiting, I'm baiting. Yeah, I also got railed in the head by BT. Okay, let's rehash. Step 1 is to figure out whether you need to survive or you need to kill. Step 2 is to base your game plan on what you predict others have to do in different locations and different maps. Whether it's to find the best route and time if you need to survive, or to find the best map, location, and time to make the most out of your kit if you need kills. And that's it, now your chances of succeeding on a quest will increase. I hope this video helped, it's an important topic I wanted to cover, but the video is quite short because I'm working on an updated settings video. And another project where I'll need a separate PC build to benchmark Tarkov, with some of the new MIP streaming features. It'll help a lot if you can participate in this poll. If you think this isn't good enough of a metric for your average range of FPS, leave a comment on the poll, I'll keep what you wrote in mind. 
All links will be in the description and comments. As always, like, comment, sub, bell, join the Discord for gun builds, follow me on Twitch or Twitter if you want. Thanks for watching.